Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, hooligers, shills, dust lacers, peasants, vassals, peoples of the Trans-Pacific region. I welcome you. I'm a useful idiot. And uh, today I want to talk about the Trans-Pacific Partnership. And uh, this is that uh, supposed trade agreement uh, with the Pacific region that now includes Japan and uh, parts of South America, the United States, and uh, Southeast Asia in a supposedly a, a trade agreement. And um, it's actually not a trade agreement. It's uh, more of a corporate regulatory foundation. And uh, that's why it's notable for us. Um, but So now it's in the news again. It's problematic for me why it's in the news uh, for a couple reasons. One is that the Trans-Pacific Partnership, um, we've known most of uh, what we know now through this new WikiLeaks leak, this chapter that's come out, um, which I'll attach below so you can read the wording yourself. But uh, the, the, the fact that uh, most of this stuff we've known for at least a year. I, I did a video in December of last year, which I'll also attach below, um, that discusses the Trans-Pacific Partnership. And there was a leaked chapter then, and it revealed much of what we're, we're uh, having confirmed now, um, that it's a not a trade deal, it's a corporate regulatory foundation that uh, has to do with uh, essentially granting corporate access um, globally um, in conjunction with all the other tra so-called trade agreements and um, also undermining sovereignty the, uh, sovereignty uh, and sovereign law of nations uh, so that corporate law will uh, supersede um, all sovereign laws and this includes areas like food safety, internet freedom, medicine cost, environment, financial regulation and so, and so no surprise we have these major corporations it used to be the evil corporations were the, the known quantity like the oil companies, but we have brand new evil corporations that are almost worse than than uh, uh, petroleum and oil and energy companies because at least they produce something. Now we have uh, giant financial, giant financials, and telecommunications companies, and uh, they are the new evil uh, evil corporate entities, and they've uh, permeated this uh, this new Trans-Pacific Partnership with to fulfill their requirements and that includes uh, um, either updating food safety regulations or uh, emasculating them depending on what's needed from country to country um, and, and then all the uh, internet censorship that they try to get through Congress that hasn't passed um, is showing up in this Trans-Pacific Partnership um, it will also keep uh, extend patents for uh, 120 years and this is uh, this is Another thing that Trans-Pacific Partnership is all about is intellectual property, copyrights, um, copyrights and intellectual property uh, violations being uh, uh, treated as if it was terrorism. And that's another thing that's codified in the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Um, and then, of course, loosening environmental regulations um, in all those regions in order to make them more corporate friendly. And, and uh, last but not least, financial regulations, uh, lining up all the financial regulations um, and uh, opening up all these regions to uh, the uh, too big to fail banks and on all the big international investors and hedge funds so uh, in the countries that are involved uh, for everyone uh, who wants to know are the United States, Australia, Brunei, Canada, Chile, Japan, Malaysia, Mexico, New Zealand, Peru, Singapore, and Vietnam so a very big chunk of the Asia Pacific region and down into uh, South America so this is a big deal if you put this together with NAFTA and then uh, put it together also with the also being negotiated right now the Trans Atlantic Partnership and then it will cover cover most of the known uh, world other than the uh, rogue states and of course China and Russia and um, so like I say, it has to do with uh, telecommunications, banking, pharmaceuticals, inter entertainment, internet. That's another part of the, the uh, communications aspect. The Trans-Pacific Partnership is making the entertainment uh, world uh, dominate through that region and, and have all the uh, intellectual property rights and, and showing rights and everything else controlled so they can make more money. And, um, and then the environmental laws will also include things like labor laws, consumer protection regulation, and everything else. The other thing that's weird about the timing of this coming out now is Congress uh, protesting so much uh, and on the surface complaining that it's because Obama's got on the fast fast track. But uh, 
that's disingenuous because they've had 12 or 14 secret meetings over the, at least the last year, if not longer. And uh, all of this has been uh, kept from Congress. And now they're complaining just at the last uh, uh, stretch of uh, setting up this Trans-Pacific Partnership. So uh, there, there has to be another part of this. And of course there is, because what, what they really want to do is make sure they get everything they want in there, including Lindsey Graham who wants to put uh, some wording in there addressing currency manipulation. And this would be directed at uh, China, because Lindsey Graham's always trying to pick a fight with China. But uh, that's problematic uh, for Lindsey Graham to get that included in the Trans-Pacific Partnership, because uh, Japan is actively manipulating their currency, and therefore uh, this would go against uh, what they're doing right now as well. So, so the problems we have with the Trans-Pacific Partnership is it's a unconstrained, by the rights and, uh, and obligations of countries, constitutions, laws, and domestic court procedures. And, and they spell it out in the Trans-Pacific Partnership. There's no mystery. Um, they, corporations want to be unconstrained by the rights and obligations of countries, constitutions, laws, and domestic court procedures. And part of that apparatus is corporate tribunals, uh, courts that would be set up, and that uh, corporations could actually sue countries uh, or not loosening their environmental laws or causing them loss of business because of certain uh, regulations they might have or what have you. So corporate law would dominate over the state and, and corporations would be suing states. And uh, this basically would have corporations acting with uh, utter impunity on a global level in every level of society when we figure in financial regulations, environment, labor, medicine costs, internet freedom. Uh, food safety, entertainment, telecommunications, uh, every, it's all in there. And uh, so the, the summary for me, as I, I brought up a year ago when I first talked about the Trans-Pacific Partnership, is that this is, is as close to a framework um, and a blueprint for the New World Order. And I prefer not to use New World Order because it's too loaded for all the conspiracy theorists. So I, I generally use the term uh, World Corporate Governance. Because new, new, uh, the the new system in the world that we have now, um, they're just fine tuning it, and that is a uh, a corporate a, a global feudal system based on corporate uh, corporate regions, and just as the military divides up regions um, and sets up commands, and we have uh, regions set up in some telecommunications and. Banking and petroleum and all the and all the other big players, but uh, so this is a, a blueprint. And when you put this together with the Trans Atlantic Partnership and other so-called trade agreements, and uh, and other agreements that uh, we have set up with the World Trade Organization, the World Bank, and the uh, International Monetary Fund, um, then we have a framework for a corporate uh, world corporate governance, and that. That's been the plan all along, um, and that's a topic I've covered in a number of videos, but uh, corporate world governance. So uh, every time a little detail comes out about the Trans-Pacific Partnership, it's definitely going to be worth looking at very carefully and um, seeing exactly what, what the future will look like, because uh, this is the blueprint for corporate world governance, and uh, every uh, hint we get will uh, better prepare us for what is to come and uh, for all intents and purposes, what is already here? I'm Useful Idiot. Don't you be one too.